Okay, hi everyone and uh, welcome to this live coding competition. Um, uh, be people here uh, on in the Twitchiverse watching this live streamed and there are also a group of contestants here, still virtual, at uh, our annual Waltham Summer School. Um, and uh, I should say that um, the ability to do live coding as a spectator sport is something that is pretty unique to Waltham language um, because uh, we have a language in which uh, a lot can be achieved with a small amount of code in a small amount of time by sufficiently talented people. Uh, and um, uh, so what we have here is a sequence of challenge problems and a number of contestants who will be uh, um, will be will be able to see some of what the of the code they're writing, and uh, uh, be able to sort of see what's happening in real time. So uh, I should just introduce the um, uh, we have um, the contestants here are at our annual or from summer school which we've been doing now. This is the 18th such um, well from summer school. And uh, uh, this year we actually have kind of a, a, a new piece to the summer school that relates to our fundamental theory of physics. Actually, we have a total of 88 students at the summer school. Um, only the more courageous of them will be um, uh, competing live in this live coding competition. Um, we actually also have now running our summer camp for high school students. That's another 45 or 50 people. I'm not sure if we have any contestants from um, uh, from the summer camp in in our collection today, but um, anyway, the the um, uh, we've been doing live coding competitions with Waltham Language for a few years now. Um, there are all sorts of technical challenges in making these uh, really work as good spectator sport, and we've had additional challenges um, in uh, in bringing these to you virtually and with contestants being virtual. Uh, Jesse Friedman has been at the center of making all this stuff work. So it's Jesse's fault if it doesn't work, but I'm sure it will. Um, we also, uh, for our live commentators here, we have Phil Maimon and Flip Phillips. Um, uh, Phil and Flip have both been involved with, um, with Wolfram Language for a very long time. Flip, for a very, very long time, since the very beginnings of Wolfram Language at, um, and its uh, uh, bundling on the next computer and all those kinds of things um, back in the in the very first years, and uh, Flip has had a distinguished career as a as a professor and so on uh, since his life in in Silicon Valley back in back in those days. Um, Phil uh, has, um, among other things, been the winner of some live coding competitions that we've had in previous years. Uh, after a life in, in finance, he has been a, a professor and a sports analytics person and so on. So, um, and I'm, I'm not, I'm, um, so I should probably turn over to uh, Flip and Phil to actually uh, uh, get going with our 2020 Wolfram Summer School live coding competition. And they can explain how it's really going to work. I'm just, um, I'm just telling you my amateur version of how it's going to work. Okay, over to Flip and Phil. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll figure this out. We'll, it, we'll, we'll, we'll explain to everybody, I hope. I'm just going to pull over my window. Phil, go ahead. Fire it up. I think. There we go. Yeah. There we, we are live. So um, when do we start question one? You want to explain? Why don't we go ahead and explain a little bit how this is going to work? I guess uh, that's a good idea. Go for yeah. it. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, maybe. It's up to you. <laughs> um, or we could just let everyone try to figure it out. We're going to, um, uh, and as you can see, actually, if you're at the leaderboard, which um, there is a online leaderboard that Philip is sharing right now, and you can see that on the left, there is a uh, question will appear. Uh, right now, Philip has a uh, notebook up with the with, with his attempted answers for uh, the question, and then 
So what's going to happen here is that uh, our uh, head honcho, Jesse, uh, top architect, sorry, Jesse is going to release a question into the wild. Uh, all, of the, all of the participants will then be able to download the question, work on the question. Philip and I will uh, chat a little bit about how their solutions are coming. And then uh, at the end of the window of time, uh, after we get enough submissions, we will allow you, the Twitch universe, to vote on your favorite answer. So this is a little different than the way we've been doing live coding in the past, where this is a this is a popularity contest, is what this is, right, Phil? <laughs> That's right. And it's totally, we've heard the, the inside scoop is it's totally legit to stack the deck. Yes. So so get on get on Twitter and all you know, call your friends, call your mom. I know that I would have my mom watching right now if at all possible to vote for my answers. Not that she would know what my answers are. So so um, why don't we go ahead and get it started? I'm guessing the participants are ready. Oh, by the way, so yes, the participants, uh, I think as Stephen pointed out, they're participants from the Wolfram Summer School. Um, they are, they range in, uh, yeah, they range in talent uh, and experience with the language. So, and that's the cool thing about what we've got going on for this particular uh, version of the coding challenge is that we're going to get a bunch of we're going to get answers uh, since there is no right answer for or no singular correct answer means we're going to get all kinds of great answers and at all kinds of different levels uh, of solution here. So this this uh, this looks to be an exciting event here, Philip. I can't wait. Let's get going. This is going to <laughs> okay. be awesome. All right, Jesse, unleash the Kraken. The first question oh, here is, is create a pie chart using the digits of pi. So, all right, there we go. So, uh, and we'll start some questions uh, or some answers should roll in, but uh, at the same time, Philip and I can kind of discuss, I don't know what, what so when, whenever you see things like this, what are the uh, Mathematica constructs you think about using right off the top of your head, Philip? Uh, digits, real digits, um, counts. Counts, yeah. Um, <laughs> what about yes. you? Yeah, my favorite is uh, I, I always demonstrate, um, I, and this goes back to an old uh, Stephen uh, thing, is like, you know, I, I do an N of pi. You can do this in your window, right? Like do an N of pi to uh, a thousand or something. And, you know, show somebody how you can generate, you can generate a million digits of pi in uh, it, it, not even a second, right? Yeah, let's do it. All so right. yeah, so go go ahead and pop one in there. Yep. We already have a couple of answers. Okay. Yeah. So right, look, here's a thousand digits of pi before you even you know have breakfast. Uh, I must I have know. missed. Did I miss the a person's name? Uh, we have Nick. I'm missing Scott. And we have this first one is Andy. Andy. Yeah, it looks like Andy. Uh, and so this looks like this is this is uh, uh, this is nuts. I'm loving it. Uh, this is nice. This yeah, is that's. This one is Nick. Okay. Digits of 10, 10. First one. Okay. Yeah. And, and there's another one. Yeah. Real digits is a good, that's a good plan on this one. Um, that is Scott. We haven't looked at Scott yet. And. Yeah. So you got to make sure. So yes, exactly. So we got, let's see here. Yes. Andy. So all I, I, the only one I see is Andy's, but it's, oh, yep. There's, there's another one. So you can oh, see Andy that again. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that um, uh, we have uh, basically <laughs> some of these are really great. Now, um, the neat thing about pie charts too, they're, they're uh, interactive things. So you should be able to click on one there uh, and pop a section out. Right. So uh, does that work on, I, you're on windows. I, uh, you know, I, I have, have windows. all these windows doesn't uh, do, do good things. I, well, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, you're seeing. Oh, that's right. It's because they're coming across the chat right. channel as oh, but I can uh, images. It, right? Yeah, so. right. You sure can. So, so go ahead. Again, the beauty of Mathematica that we can do that. Yeah. So there's the, the notice. There's a little tool tip in there that's given us information about the the uh, valence of each slice. So between this and and we have, of course, we have Aaron, whose last name is. Uh, uh, 
a fruit. So now we have, now I'm hungry. I want, uh, there's we <laughs> have pie and we have, we have fruit pie now. It's, I think we have five answers already. So let's go in order. We had, um, Andy was the first yeah. one. Yes. Number two is Nick. Yes. Uh, Andy, I think this is a resend. Yeah. Jose. Uh, yep. I lost count. Are we at three yeah. or four? That's three right now. So yeah, that's a hard number. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at <laughs> this was three, right? Yeah. And then four and scroll four down there. Two. Look at that crazy wow. thing. Joe, this is, uh, this is some epic. And I believe we have a five, uh, Joe. And the fifth one is Matt on its way in here for, yep. for all to see. And you should be able to vote on Twitch. Here's yes. Matt's. Now, what's I think the best way to show them? Uh, so it's Andy, Nick, Jose, Joe, and Matt. Yes, those were the first five. Yes. And so, again, loving the idea here. Um, that's actually, that's an interesting, by the way, go, check out that last well, well, go ahead. This one? This one? Yeah, yeah. See, look look what it, we're we're getting a statistical distribution of the digits now, right? Yes. So that's that's pretty slick. We're getting a um, uh, we're actually getting a real life statistical distribution. Yep. This one, let's see what what's going on here. We're getting the Oh, so this is just all the digits that he is pulling those from. Okay. Um and then what's going? What do you Jose. think? Happening? Yeah, Jose. Oh, he's getting oh. the rest. <laughs> oh, but he he got n of pi, so he got all of the digits. All of the digits. Bonus <laughs> points for using yeah. all the digits of pi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the way real digits works is the first thing it returns a list of two things. The first is the list of digits, and the second is what's to the left of the decimal point. So this is the first, and the rest so without the three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty slick, though. So, yeah, we, and you, you'd think we'd be waiting here all day for all the digits, but, you know, no, we're not. So I think we're supposed to vote now, right? Yeah, so so according to, uh, according to Avery right now on the poll, there is a poll at Twitch TV. Uh, I believe it's just part of the – it's part of the Twitch stream, and we're, uh, we're seeing votes now, as a matter of fact. Um, Where do you see them? Well, I see them on my screen, but uh, oh, current poll, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's under current oh. poll. Oh, yeah. oh, it's uh, neck and neck. Get your votes in quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matt, call your mom, your friends. Jose, call your friends. Get everybody you on. Have to, here. Guys, if you're watching on Twitch, you have to look above the chat for where it says yeah. current poll. Click that, and then you'll be a happy person. Yes. Oh, Matt, creeping. Uh, Sprinting forward, he is. Oh, I also wow. wonder. I, I, in, in Twitch, can you um, can you change your votes in Twitch polls? Because now things get up, up, and it looks like oh, oh winner, come, by, come from behind, <laughs> Jose. <laughs> nice. So Jose, say hi. We know we we have a secret. Here's who just voted at the last second. You'll never guess. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Stella. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So who's the winner? Job. Left. Jose, the winner. Hey, Jose. Yeah. So Good. scroll down to Jose's there. Look at that. So. Up yet? Okay. Here's Jose's. Yeah. Great. And oh, so and he got the bonus points for using. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, nice. the, <laughs> yes. By the way, uh, uh, all all the competitors there. We apologize that we may or may not slant votes due to our uh, things. So you're you're right now. You're just playing to our nerd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> things that give us the little bit of nerd excitement over here. All these solutions are great though, by the way. Um, uh, this, the, and, and all of you did them in a, uh, in a clever, clever fashion. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So the leaderboard on, uh, which has now been updated has Jose. So Jose gets three points, Matt, two points and Andy O no relation to Candio, I believe, uh, but you never know, uh, uh, with uh, one point. So we are off to a... Congrats, everybody. Good yes, work. kudos. Kudos, love. All right, here comes question two. All you right. Ready? Yes. Pins and needles. Pins and needles. Here comes. Friedman. Here there we is. go. All right. Write a function. Oh, you want to... Go ahead, Philip. You read this one. I did last. 
This oh one's my longer. God, that's right? longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, we won't read it. Yeah, it's, yeah. This yeah. is self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think we're in good shape. Well, uh, let's chat about it. Uh, so yeah, right yeah. Function, All right. DNA. So nucleotide sequence. Okay. So you so got DNA your, has four letters. Yep. Okay. And you have to convert it into a string A to Z. There we go. Or Z, depending on where you're from. You call uh, it Z? Well, I live I'm so I live so close to Canada that uh, <laughs> just by default I, I have to call it Z. Um, infectious. It is. It comes across uh, the lake. Uh, for those of you listening, I am I am in lovely I wanted to say Buffalo, New York, but I'm not. I'm in Rochester, so I'm, I'm even confused where I am right now. Okay, obtain the sequence for a gene using genome data. So see, you've been given an awesome hint just for starters. And search for an English word in the result produced by your function. Um, and then, oh, yeah, this is one where we would like for you to add a, uh, just add a text cell um, with the method you used for getting the genetic sequence in, you know, so, so that uh, Philip and I don't have to decode mentally what you did. Um, it's uncomputable, right? In principle. Yeah. Yeah. It's as my, my years of cognitive science training have taught me, this is basically, but uh, I will say in the last answer, we did use the entirety of pi. So uh, who said that, <laughs> We should I think, be able to use the entire DNA. Yeah, right. And I think there's going to be a PNP question at some point. <laughs> I saw on Twitch someone was someone uh, leaked apparently the question zero, which was find the rule for the universe. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. So just again for for uh, observe outside observers who are not uh, part of the summer school, we've got this the summer school. Um, these students are all working in cooperation with uh, with Stephen and a bunch of incredibly talented uh, teaching assistants. And they are working on, uh, each of them working on a unique uh, and clever problem. You can go to the Wolfram website and the Wolfram community site um, and have a look at some of the uh, projects from previous years. There's some really cool projects. And this is a chance for basically for them to come and work on a dedicated um, uh, project with interaction with uh, top architects of uh, of the Wolfram language work mm -hmm. with Stephen Philip is you're uh, you're uh, last year I was uh, doing some TA I did a TA this year you are doing TA work right yeah I'm a mentor at the school this year last year I was at the camp I, w I went to the school about oh yeah right about right, right 13 years ago myself uh, and it did change my life so I highly recommend anybody who's here to enjoy it and who's not here to apply for next year um, yeah. it's a uh, it, it's it's a miraculous thing we'll talk more about it but what I, w I wanted to point out a couple of things that if you're kind of new to Wolfram language or you don't know what's going on uh, some of the amazing things um, one of the things uh, that as a programmer is phenomenal about the Wolfram language is the help and it goes underappreciated. Who cares about the docs, right? But they're actually incredibly valuable. Uh, if you guys, yeah. Ahead. Oh no, I was going to say it's the, it's the number one. It, it's the most underrated thing, A and B it's the, the, you don't even, you know, the, the um, uh, uh, integration is amazing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, since the very earliest days. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's keep like, going. I, yeah. Like, like if you if you ever programmed in any other language, Python, R, whatever, and you're trying to solve a particular problem, and all you could do, the docs don't help you, right? You have to go to Google. You get some answer that you hope someone asked. It's just very confusing. Here, it's just a beautiful layout of all of the help. Uh, my favorite part is the C also. And what makes it my favorite part is if you watch on this Twitter stream, which you have, presumably, you've been watching live CEOing. And one of the things he does, Stephen, when he's live CEOing is he thinks about how to, uh, I forget what he calls it. Is it knitting or threading or whatever? Threading. And, yeah, yeah, connecting yeah, yeah. all these yeah. concepts. And they don't always go both ways. So this might link to a C also somewhere else that does not link back. Uh, because when you're thinking about one, you'd want to think about it, but the other you wouldn't. It's, it's, it's curated help, which is beautiful. Yeah. And guess what, Flip? What? We have our first submission. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Here we go. 
All right. Let's see what's happening. Whoa. I'm excited. Here it is. Well, okay. I can't this, see it though. Uh, you, on my you, screen. Can you see it on my screen? Nope. Oh, oh, you know why? Because I have the leaderboard up because I'm not <laughs> sure. Hey, okay. okay. This is, uh, why can't I copy his name? The cell, right. the cell with his name is not copying, so I'll just type it in. This is Matt. Oh, there it is. I got, I, it, it has just come over the, uh, uh, you'll, you'll all be happy to know that there is a carrier pigeon based uh, system that is sending things to me here in Rochester. And so it has just come across. Yeah. So let's see what Matt did. He, uh, he took the genome data for this particular gene. He took the full sequence and it looks like this. So I'll just put a semicolon to hide it, but you can see it's H, A's and G's and T's and C's. Okay. So it's a yeah. long string. Big old thing. Uh, then he took a uh, lowercase and the characters. Characters gives a list. Fine. So now he has a list of the lowercase characters. Uh, now what does he do? Oh, uh, Matt, we also need a text description of what you did. Yes. Um, so about what that function there is. I you sent one. This function you did. Oh. You did. I did. One? Just scroll up a little. Ah, bit. yes, I see it. I see it. Thank you. No, wait. That's Scott's answer, right? Yeah. Oh, I see yours too, Matt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I finally see it. I don't know why it took me that long. Uh, so let me just paste it here. Here's Matt's description of what he did. Uh, replace each letter of the sequence with a random letter. And then search for words in the resulting string. <laughs> and you found okra, geez, crack. Phenomenal. Excellent. So you, so, <laughs> and, and let me see. Yeah. And you replace them with Let's see. You replace them with, though, the same random letter. So you didn't just get a genetic string and then just create a random string to match with it. I got it. Yes, that, that's good. I was behind by one, one <laughs> clock tick there. Yeah, okay. that's nice. That's a nice collection. Okay. So uh, And now, wait, is that the same thing I copied? Yeah, it is. But this is Scott F. Oh, yeah. Why do we have Matt and Scott? Oh, ignore Scott. Scott, I'm yeah, gonna ignore, ignore Scott. You. Yeah, yeah. Scott All was right. uh, Scott is sending the stuff to me. That's what's okay. happening. Yeah. Sorry to ignore you, Scott. But so this is our first solution. Great, our yeah. first and only solution so far. And, and by the way, to to point something interesting out that happened there, I don't know if anyone else noticed, but when you evaluated genome data. Um, a little blue box came up and basically, uh, and it was because you didn't have the genome data on your machine, right? Right. right. And, and so this is a, a, speaking of programmerly cool things, this is basically the, the data for that is gigantic and not everyone will need and or want that data. So it, first of all, it isn't shipped with it, but a link to it out in the universe is shipped. Um, and so, and it took, I just, uh, I'm, I downloaded it just now and it literally took, uh, uh, four seconds and I got all this genome data. Um, and that, that way you don't have to, it, it, the system is big, but it's even bigger and it's curated and kept up to date. So, uh, if the, <laughs> if the genetic data changes, um, you know, due to mutation or, or other terrifying events, uh, alien events, you know, right. You, you're getting, you can get the, the data's, uh, up to date. And if it doesn't change or you're not on the internet, once you've gotten it once it has been downloaded and is, uh, good for you to use. So it's solid. It's, it's a really clever thing. It is. It's awesome. Uh, so here's the original answer by Matt had all these cool words. Yeah. Uh, but when I run it, I got this. What happened? How did I break the code? <laughs> hey, you broke it, dude. Oh, no. You got room. I, oh, Matt, I, was, and... I busted your code. I'm so sorry. So can anyone on Twitch? What, what's why is that? Why is it when I run his code, I get a different answer than than he got? Yeah. What? For the love of God, someone tell Please, us this. Solve this mystery. Where's Scooby Doo? <laughs> <laughs> it's always the guy underneath the mask it's always that guy <laughs> now and and when i run it by the way i get film like zany flea fuse pour odor stop pump really? pork those opus. are like perfect words for you yeah they really are they I, i'd like to think someone put this together this is uh, amazing man you not only answered the question you also created a personality assessment yeah. <laughs> that was, was like, built in there from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it must be. 
the the random seed that you uh, 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 that good. you use, right? Oh, good. So, uh, so yes, the first, Lord Mazakray. Uh, and, yeah, and Lord Mazakre. Very yeah. good. It's it's random. That's right. That's uh, right. So because it's random every time. Um, How about pseudo random is what I would say. But that's just me because oh, it's a deterministic going. random. Oh, no. Oh, you, Somebody call Call McGoroff or Greg Chayton quickly. Let us get him there. Here, let's have a quantum. Yeah, this is a good. Uh I, this I is this you, is yeah yeah yeah. If you never get if you're if you're sick of pseudo random, and you want to just get uh, if you want random, if it, <laughs> <laughs> this is random. Yeah, uh, uh, here's some more random. Um, this is coming quantum random. So this is yeah. really yeah. really random. Like this, there's a version of you that's looking at a different 1,024 letters right now. Yeah. So we just split your life into a thousand pieces. If you're okay with that. Um, who's next? What, Sounds think, like my marriage. I'm, no, I'm kidding. I, no, I'm joking. I'm, just, I'm very, I'm happy. We're all happy. It's a big happy family. We have, so we another, have another, we got yes, another from answer Nick. from Nick. Here we go. All right, Nick. Uh, Ooh, Nick. I like some of what I like the code that's happening here. This is nice. This is a function. Yeah. So it's a function DNA alphabet from a string. And then he uses this genome data looks for the word and dictionary word Q. Well, where's the text description? Yeah. Nick, do you have a text description of what you have accomplished, what you have wrought here? And by the way, I want to know, did so and he picked a different gene. Yes. I wanna, I'm going to I'm going to look these genes up on the side to find you, out what are you what a gene people, expert? No, I, I well, I've no, no, no. <laughs> but I, I have, a, a, you know, you never know. So some of these are fun, right? This is the gene for, you know, your pinky toe curves rightward or something. So let's see if there's any secret if, if these guys are trying to be too clever by half. Um, Okay. Let's see what let's see what's going on here. This looks like an interesting one. Let's see what this does. Right. This DNA alphabet of that gene. So so us. so Nick's gene is the epithelial sodium channel. So it's a sodium channel gene. So it's one of those things. I wonder if when people are sending in their solutions, it would be great to know why they picked the gene they did. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why. That's why personal, I'm kind of going through them right now. We don't want to violate HIPAA or anything. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting to know. Uh, how many genes are there? <laughs> well, depends. Humans, yeah. animals. Uh, there, there, there are. Uh, how many have we found? Uh, you know, uh, enough. Let's see here. Oh, that? so five HT three uh, three C two. The one that uh, uh, the previous one is. Yeah, it's it's the. Um, uh, you can use these Nick thing. I've seen the the cards for these. Uh, anyway, uh, we have an answer from Twitch. There are precisely fourteen genes. No, <laughs> that's good. Well, that's I'm glad there's. On, I'm glad there are only fourteen. <laughs> that makes so life the, much easier. DNA alphabet from letter number mod from digits. Okay, so Matt says his was the first in the drop down menu, <laughs> and Nick used the one from the documentation. There you hey! go. <laughs> Both so they, excellent approaches. So they, yeah, right. Chosen uh, using very uh, 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 method. You know, uh, the best method is the documentation. This is great. So I still don't really exactly understand what's happening here. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm trying to. So let's work it out. From by the way, uh, in the debuggery universe here that we all like to live in, right? Uh, I I learned uh, uh, Lisp before I got all tied up in this and right the way you kind of work from the inside to try to figure out how these to figure out what he's doing right so we can use this as a great moment to uh uh to show the students kind of what that's doing so we're given a string first thing yep. he does is letter number letter number replaces everything um with the number of the letter and you can give it a string right and it'll give the letters the number so you have numbers from 1 to 26 no you only have four of them right so you have four numbers right now what is letter number of a string do? yeah i've never done it for a string 
So it gives a number, then integer. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. In base two, so puts it into integer digits of base two. Love this. Okay. And then partitions them into groups of five. So of groups of five base two letter number representations. Yes. And then he, and then, whoa. <laughs> So he flattens them together. Yeah, you got to flatten them all out, right? Puts it back from binary to decimal. Yep. Mod 28. Why 28? Uh, Why is it not 26? A, A through Z plus the two jokers at the end. Uh, the, you know, uh, the or two the jokers wild cards. In the yeah, I yeah. Missed yeah. That right. in my middle school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's some, maybe it's a typo, or maybe I maybe there are some missing letters like Z. Yeah. Uh, okay. So well, zero is space. I know in the letter number universe, it always gives zero for space. So okay. I don't know. What, uh, okay. And then he adds one uppercase string join. Okay. So it's groups of five. Oh, why is it groups of five? I think yeah. So two to the fifth. Right. Yeah. There we go. Right, I like sense. that. I like makes that. Sense. Yep. Yeah. So every sequence of five letters, basically, he creates into a one of the letters of the alphabet. Okay. Right, right. Very interesting approach. Yep. What are the words he got? What is the, some of the long? Huh. Excellent word. PhD. Huh. huh PhD. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Let's do maximum by string length. Yeah. There's my favorite. Um, what did I do wrong? No, because you evaluated. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. ADA. Huh. Pat. ADA. PhD. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know DPT. That's in the. I guess it's because it's, yeah, I don't know. Must be a thing. Ada Lovelace is, make, gets a shout out. There this we is, go. This is awesome. There we go. It's like almost a complete sentence. <laughs> Ada DPT, huh? <laughs> Pat PhD. Yeah. Pat Hanrahan, my old uh, office mate at Pixar, is uh, Pat PhD. So uh, there. How about he, your days at Pixar? Which movies did you work on? I, I worked on everything before the movies. So I was there oh. in the, I was the, uh, I worked on commercials and I worked on the short films, the one that <coughs> won the Oscar. Mm. That thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Those were good days. All right. So we're going to give you one more minute on the leaderboard clock. So it says it's 442 right now. We're going to give you until 443 and 15 seconds because why? Because we can. Volume, volume, <laughs> volume. Uh, so it's 442. We're going to give you to 443 and 15. By the way, feel free to submit if you're going to if you're going to basically end up at 4 4 um if you're going to end up with something that almost worked or whatever, go ahead and deliver that uh, as well for voting because, you know, uh, this, since this is a, uh, this is all about giving it a good try while we're at it. Yeah. So and this is for Twitch. This is not the deadline for you to vote. This is the deadline for the coders to right. vote. And then you'll have your own deadline for voting. This is a tough question. Yeah, it really is. This is, this is one that I, when I look through, I, the other ones I had kind of an idea of how I was going to start. You're smart. But, You're prepared. You look through. I, yeah, I, I well, came in I, fresh. I want to be yeah, surprised. Good. No, no, this is, no. So there you go. So, you have, <laughs> so we have Matt. And, ah, so and, we got a third oh, one has just uh, a third. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Here we go. Yeah. Jose. <laughs> Jose um, I can't never seem to select the name. That's okay. All right. And by the way, that's that's it. So time up, answers, pencils down. This is going to be uh, uh, so our, our third officially in the in by the bell was Jose. Yes. Um, do we have a uh, text explanation? So he no, took the same gene. No judicious use of semicolon. I, I would like to all programmers realize that semicolon is your friend. All right. What do we got here? Okay. And then he string replaced something and did string cases of at so at appears within his solutions yes yeah legitimate solution um there's no text so we don't know what he did uh <laughs> so who's so the three voting are jose nick and matt and Did matt start the poll yes so uh avery's pulling the putting the poll together and it is live the poll is live i repeat 
Good. You can look up on the poll again. Um, so uh, let's review. This was Matt's. Basically replace each letter with a random letter. Nick's, which we don't have a text description, but we sort of figured out it's using like a sliding five character uh, scale to get a number yeah. from one to 26 in a deterministic way, which right. effectively ends up creating some kind of sentence. Right. And Jose's which we're not totally sure what happened, uh, like what he's doing, I mean. Uh, oh, he's adding a random integer. Okay. So yeah. he's basically doing random as well. Fine. Yep. Right, right. So yeah. those are so, the three, your three choices. And right now, it appears Matt is in the lead. I like yes. the, the I like the, the Nick solution because of the, uh, uh, the kind of sliding window idea. Now, once we mm -hmm. figured that out... Uh, that is interesting. How else yeah. would you approach this? This is there's not a really obvious. Yeah, right. You do it, right? Yeah. Maybe one thing you could do is you could look at patterns of pairs of letters like n-grams. Right. right. I would. That's exactly what I was thinking about. N-grams. All right. We got about a minute left in the poll, everybody. So get your votes in. Oh, there's your... a question. What does flatten do? I'll show you. If you have a list yeah. that has like lists inside lists inside lists inside lists and oh wait, too far. This. And if you have lots of lists um, and you're like, man, that's too many lists. I'd like it all as one list, please. Mr. Boom. Flatten is your friend. Boom. Boom. The timer, the timer to vote is almost over. looks like Matt is dominating the votes. He's gotten all, wow. he's gotten the, uh, the in-laws, the uh, uh, distant <laughs> cousins. Yeah. Um, Oh, I, I just got a text from my mom. Mom uh, voted for Matt on this one and not me. So, and it's over. And Matt is our winner on this one. Hey. So three points for Matt, two for Nick, and one for Jose. So see, Jose, you, you submitted, you, there's there's credit. You get there credit. Is. And you there's get a point, credit. right? So we'll, yeah, yeah. The leaderboard will, um, will update quickly. In the yes. meantime... Should we wait for the leaderboard or should we start question number three? Let's see. Let's wait um, for the leaderboard to be more okay. dramatic. All right. No, yes. But I, there it is. There Ooh! it is. Nice. Oh, so yeah. Nick is on the board with two points, a very solid start. Yes. Good job. Uh, Matt crushing it. Jose, yep. very close second. Yep. And Andy's still here. Very good job. Yeah. So uh, 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 Jose, that uh, keeping it, you know, the slow and steady wins the race there. So we're getting good. All right. Very good. Jesse. Okay. Number three, please, if you would. Here we go. Number Create three. a beautiful. depiction. Yeah, this one is this is good. Create a depiction of a flower using any Wolfram language visualization functionality. E.g. It needs to be a comma there. Uh, my, my copy editor. Symbolic graphics, graph plotting, equation plotting, etc. You should create. Your solution should create an image or drawing from scratch rather than loading or using one from another source. This means no web image search or Wolfram Alpha popular curves. However, uh, in my, you know, right, my, my, first, uh, my first impression is if, if the goal is to get the answer there first, web image search and we're done. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. There's no. There's no like flower function. No. Yeah. Right. It's uh, this. This, by the way, has a very Mike Trot flavor to it. Right. It, it, and but of course, there's the popular curves thing now. So the you know the. Uh, but now, so so let's think about this. How would you? How would? What is your? What is your thinking about how you would go out? Go about doing this one. Uh, My first thought would be to go to the neural network repository. Yeah, yeah. Which is my first thought almost every morning. <laughs> Once I get to the neural net repository, <laughs> I, I would look for some kind of uh, images, right? Yeah. So I'm looking for images. Let's see what we got for images. Yeah, yeah. It's a good question. Um, these are all good. Turning oranges into apples. This is so cool. And yeah. each one of these is uh, <clears throat> totally built in. So you can sketch. I like this one. Generate hand-drawn sketches. Yeah. So uh, you click on it, it shows code with one click, it will copy it over. Look at this net evaluate of this neural net. You just tell it what you want. Let's try yep. it. So we'll copy Give it a go. Over, copy this over, paste it. It's like the easiest programming in the world. Yeah. Look, Ma, I'm doing machine learning. That's right. And here we go. Net evaluate. Oops. Yeah. Flower. Let's see if that works. That would be great. 
come on, neural net. I have to apologize. My computer does not have a GPU. <laughs> You're, oh yeah, we got. So again, it goes and gets a, a version of the network off of the repository. Yeah, it's a big network. It's 17 megabytes. That's a, yeah. that's a lot of floppy disks. And your yeah, your uh, 1200 baud modem is uh, <laughs> is screaming <laughs> underneath the. Uh, oh my God! Look at that! Thank look you. at that! That's yeah, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Right, here come five more cute things. Oh, just like something a kid would do. This is a really cool net because it's um yeah. it's from this game. Uh, what was it called? Um, quick draw. Uh, quick uh, draw. Oh, was it? Okay, quick draw. Yeah, yeah. quick draw. So right, you're, right. you're told what to draw, and and they store it, so they know all of the the strokes that you use to mm -hmm. store something, and then they can train it because it's obviously labeled. Yeah. And then you can generate it. This is the computer basically daydreaming about flowers. Yeah. Give it something else. Give What's it that? like a, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, I mean, a house. I. It, the, the uh, reason, it doesn't know house. It doesn't know house. Okay. You do alarm clock. Yeah, there you go. It's like a house. Yeah. I, I, it's The reason I asked, I. oh, look, it has a different... Oh, so it's getting the train net for each of the, um, um, for each of the different targets. So it's got a it's got a net trained for each one. And here we have an actual solution from an. Oh, whoops! Here we go. Yeah. So that was the alarm clock, and here's the actual solution. Oh. Our first Ooh. entry. This is by Matt. With a rainbow. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to sing Rainbow Connection. Well, they can't. I can, yeah. Anyway, um, would, would Matt mind if I got rid of the axes? Yeah, why don't you do that? I don't think he would mind. No, I would. I would encourage it. <laughs> it's a matter of policy, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my computer's really slow because of that net. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's, it's like a yeah. virus inside a quick draw. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I typed oh. that like an hour ago. Yeah, and now we have another solution. I'm looking at some beautiful. Wait, wait you're, you see another one? Yeah, yeah. Nick just fired one off. Why don't we switch to your screen then? Because mine's okay. Hold on here. Oh, so I am seeing. I'm I, what I'm going to show you because I. Uh, let's see here. You ready? Goik. Oh, sorry. I don't quite have I'd the. Like to just uh, announce that. Uh... Jeremy IWK would announce his love for Matt. He says, Matt, I love you, but that is oh. absolutely not a flower. Okay. That is, <laughs> that's pretty, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. pretty epic. <laughs> All right. Hold on here. And so we go over to mine here. So here is, uh, this one is Nick's. Let me know when you get uh, back. Yep. I'm just going to delete all this stuff here. Okay. Whoops. I got the wrong. Turns out that as smart as Chrome is, I can't run. Well, I can. I could have done Mathematica. Uh, uh, I could have used the. Uh, I could have used oh, Web Mathematica for this. Okay. Yeah, here we go. You have it or no? I yeah, I got it. Okay. Sorry. No, this is wow. Yeah, this is where in the it, it and it's oh yeah, look at that crazy thing here. This is gorgeous. Second solution is by which one are you looking at right now? I'm looking at uh, the second solution. So Nick, this is beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, let's see here. So what what did Nick do? Nick, according to this, uh, did a com did the complex plot to get the uh, the festive background colors. And then used, oh, now this, this is kind of a cool uh, feature that we should probably talk about, right? Um, the idea of using these resource functions, they allow the, uh, to extend the language in a systematic way. Um, and so these are uh, stored out in the global universe. Uh, and so that's where I guess he got that nested branching. Uh, I didn't know that was a resource function. And That's we have a gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. This is really nice. And this was whose? This was Nick's. Nick. Beautiful. Yeah. That's so. This is the basically an L system kind of a thing happening there. So that's pretty sweet. 
Uh, and then we got uh, 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 Pavel sent us beep, this guy. Again, elegance. Beautiful. Style. It's uh, almost like a spaceship, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we got about one minute left. So hold on here. I'll go back. We'll do the same thing we did before. Let me know when you, uh, whenever, if you, whoops, when you would like to. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm still, my kernel's still dying slowly. Uh, yeah, this happens. So it's 4.55. We're going to stop at 4.56. So um, go ahead and send whatever you want. Uh, let's see. looks like we got a fourth one. This is good. By the way, as a vision scientist, I have Jesse, I have a little chat window from Jesse uh, open on in my peripheral vision. And it's easier for me to do to see that than it is <laughs> for me to actually watch it because peripheral vision, the acuity. Here we go. This is this is pretty sweet too. look at this thing. Looks like a sunflower. Oh, nice. We have a fourth. And the question is now closed just in time. Yes, Just in time. And, and uh, this one's this is Joe Crowley's. Uh, uh, kind of this cool branching and, and he's doing, he made a parametric region that he rotated over and over and over. Very again. pretty. Very yeah. pretty. So we have um, the poll should be going live now. Yep. And the hold on, I'll go back here just so we have it. So here's Matt's right here. Sorry. I, I didn't have Matt's in my, um, so there's Matt's. Um, this is, uh, Nix, again, cool use of resource function. Uh, we've got Pavel, and we've got uh, Joe Crowley right there. So the poll is live. Very nice. Oh, there's one more from. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. Chat. Looks, yeah. This look. is a user submitted. Here, I'll add that just as a, yeah, this, so because the school is going on, there's a chat and this is, who's this from? El Branco 93. Yeah. Lorraine, okay. Well done. Yeah, this is cool. By the way, this isn't in the poll. Oh, that's from Twitch, actually. Yeah, good job, Twitch. Awesome. Yes, way to go, Twitch. So. Uh, That's let's good. see. So Matt, Nick, Pavel, and Joe, and the poll right now, uh, oh, dominant, Nick, dominant, dominant, running away with it. We may have a, we may have a tie for, uh, uh second, second, and second and third, second and yeah. third, get your votes in. Yeah. The Come excitement for all the glory. By the way, good job, Twitch. This is the uh, allowing the uh, uh, the outside Twitch viewer to uh, uh, play. When's the last time you could do that? Playing your video? I don't know. Animal Crossing on Twitch. I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> any, I don't know anything. Oh, so my uh, kernel's back. I'm ready anytime. Okay, good. So we're back to five, four, three. Oh, Nick, you dominated. Well done, Nick. And wow. well, well done, <gasps> Pavel and Joe. And have a tie. Yep. And so we'll see how that is going to be uh, laid out in the leaderboard. I'm going to stop sharing, let you go okay. back to sharing. Okay, Boop. great. Here we go. We're waiting for these to update. Yeah, I don't know. You know, there's right i did this we didn't talk about this at the at all the planning meetings about what happens with a tie it during i'm sure i'm sure we did and i just wasn't listening <laughs> no, um, but there's two possible like, like you're saying possible <laughs> debugging right yeah. it, it's probably going to be one and a half one and a half but how will it show up here it might show yeah up too. You never know. or will it or will just will will poor uh, uh matt get nothing Right, because of the distribution of the points, will it be three, uh, one uh, and one, three, two and two? Will there oh, be? Here we oh, go. Let's see. Three, two and two. Uh, okay, fair. Wow. I, or I, unfair. I, we'll I don't have know. Have to find out later if that's rounding or not rounding. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Congrats, everybody. So let's see who's in the lead. We have total. Nick, Nick and Matt. And Matt. Are neck and neck. Neck and neck. God. Jose, very close, and Powell, Joe, and Andy O. Here we go. Andy, All right. come back, Andy. Where are you at? Yeah, we, we're, we miss you, Andy. All, All right. right. Here we go. Question four. Bring it, Jesse. Bring the hurt. 
See what it's going to be. List functions. Pick any function listed on the documentation guide page, rearranging and restructuring lists. And look, there's even a handy link in there. Uh, and create a function that re-implements the basic functionality of the original without using the original function in your new function. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, this music. is a bad submission. Yeah, you think so? Oh, I the one in the... Without, not, that would not work. Right. Yeah, right. That would, right. Violate, yes. it. That would right. violate the rule. Okay. This is the old, you know, dictionary words should not use the word itself in the definition <laughs> of the dictionary word. <laughs> that would be a good. Uh, that would be a good programming puzzle. See if you can find a, de a definition that actually does use a variant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We got. Uh, all right, so rearranging and restructuring this. In in your work with Wolfram Language Flip, would you say? Yes, where would you rank rearranging and restructuring lists on your tasks? You know, um, I'll tell you what, it, it's one of those, it, it depends. I kind of use Wolfram language in two different ways and I, or for two main tasks in my data analysis universe, where I'm taking data generated by um, uh, experiments or other things, rearranging and restructuring lists is about the number one, you know, thing you're doing there, right? You're trying yes. to curate and clean up your data. Yeah. Um, and then, but what, it, what you realize is the kind of scalability of all that is that you end up rearranging and restructuring even for things that are not uh, list based, right? So, uh, so that's kind of how I use it. Yeah, Philip, you should bring up the um, uh, the doc page itself and show everybody what oh, show the idea. show the Twitch of us. That beautiful link. Here we go. So here we have to choose a uh, any function listed on this guide page. By yeah. the way, these guide pages are also really cool. They're they're yeah. any other page that looks like this that you see on the web was all definitely created by a computer. Right. And you can tell by reading it, it's going to involve functions that no one cares about. Yep. But this is all human curated. It's not even in alphabetical order. Right. right. It's right. really most important first. Right. It, it's almost like it's trying to read your mind. And it's in groups of chunks. And sometimes I don't know if this has one, but if there's too many examples, this one doesn't have any, but it would have like three dots. This, then there's a further guide. to go. Through. Yep. And by the way, the, there is a there's a method to that madness. Everyone should also realize that the um, uh, that there are guide pages, there are application pages, right? So there are things. So the idea is that there's a nice documentation of the function, uh, but then there are these kind of me there are meta pages. Then there are also uh, workflows, right? And all those things. Um, and I, I know that when I teach my students, you know, when I work with my students, this is always important: is to remind them to not just use, like if you're using Riffle, for example, to just not only look at the documentation page. You got to look at all those see also's and, and all that stuff. Yep. So it looks like we got an answer there. We do. We have our first solution by Powell. Yeah. And that yes. looks like he's going to be re-implementing catenate. Catenate, we had the definition here. It catenates elements from a list of lists. What's an example usage of it? Uh, you can catenate it's like flatten, right? It puts it all mm -hmm. together. Yep. Um, and his solution involves flatten. Very reasonable. Yes. Good, so, good plan. And he called it Kate, which is like a sh <laughs> instead of Kate, Nate. Yeah. Boy, what a crazy English language. Like you read this, you say Kate, Nate, but it's really Kate, Nate. Yeah, it's Kate, Nate. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. It is Kate. Gives the exact same solution. <laughs> uh -huh. Beautiful. It, it sure a, does. Here's a one-liner uh, he could have done, right? I think this also yeah. works. <laughs> But either, yes, like, yes. <laughs> what? Flip, you've been doing this for a long time. When, when was catenate introduced? Let's see. This was in 2014. It, yeah. What's the difference between catenate and flat? You know, that's a good question. I think it puts them in, isn't it something about them being in canon, canonical, listen to me speaking, canonical order, or is there something like that as a... Uh, uh, Maybe it's the associations thing. Yeah, it could be. Because if you try to put a copy that and slap yeah. a flat or I mean, don't copy it, just slap a flat in there. Oh, by the way, that's the cool part. Another cool part about the documentation. You can literally evaluate inside the documentation itself. Right. When's the last time you did that at home with your. Yeah. Unnamed people. with Fortran 77. 
<laughs> yeah. Very so it looks, yeah, it looks like it doesn't work across the, um, uh, it doesn't work across associations. Yeah. Or, or it does depending how you want to define work. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, this yeah, is good. what you wanted. <laughs> right. Right. No, good. good. Um, right. second solution, Nick, 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 uh, <laughs> I love it. There we go. What the, the 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 name is the best. So Nick's yeah. best sort. He's re-implementing sort. <laughs> sort sort works wonderfully, right? It's it's optimized. It's yeah. n log n. It's all this stuff. What yeah. does his do? Well, let's see. If it's if it's not yet sorted, yes. <laughs> shuffle it. Shuffle it. This. Otherwise, yeah. you're done. Yeah. <laughs> this it. is this is the world's best. <laughs> <laughs> best sort great job nick yeah 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 <laughs> i'm just gonna shuffle it until it gives me the answer that i want that's the great lucky, the feeling lucky sort yeah that's beautiful yeah that's class that's gorgeous uh oops did i copy is that another pop oh that was scott right that was yeah. a copy Oh, so we, these are the two we have so far. Yes. Uh, and Cliff, uh, when do you want to when do you want to cut this one off? How long I don't know. We should take? give it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how it's going. We got. Um, oh, we have uh, we have behind the scenes. Our research team is informing us about catenate. OK, thank you. Level one. Only. Oh, only the first level. There we go. That's true. So if I had my earlier example, if I have nested lists. Ah, so catenate is right. really more like flatten. It is flatten, one. but one. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I buy that. How cool would it be so, if you could just do this and see? It'll tell you if two functions are equal. Right. Yeah. That would. <laughs> or well, that would that, I'm sure that I was going to say, yeah, the, the, uh, sh I'm sure the uh, theorem, automated theorem proving <laughs> people are, uh, uh, are all uh, good on that. Now, this is question four. Am I counting correctly? Yes. And so so um, I get from the control booth, from the guys in the control booth, I'm saying a few more minutes. So okay. we'll stop this question at, let's call it 509. So That's you, specific. Yeah, I like it. How about how about 508 and 58 seconds? No, <laughs> yeah, we'll do, we'll do 509. Um, let's, uh, flip. let's go back to these uh, functions because... It's, yeah, yeah. It can be a little overwhelming at first learning a language to have, oh my God, look, 5,000 functions, like learning a human language. Yes. Um, how do you tend to think about learning other functions that you've never seen before? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, honestly, the way that I do it is I try to find, and this is an, a beautiful uh, documentation feature, is like, for example, click on uh, uh, whatever, array flatten there. And I literally go to scroll to the very bottom of, you see that C also there? Oh, I'm sorry, I guess back up. That gives me an idea. So again, human curated goodness here. The, and, and the way, and if you've ever watched, by the way, the, uh, any of the um, coding, even any of Steven's you know, uh, design reviews and things, all the developers have the documentation tools integrated into their universe and they're trying to use them as they, um, uh, you know, as they develop code. And so that allows for the curation of those things down there at the bottom, right? You, it, it, and you know that, oh yeah, this is like flatten or join or band. And it, so it allows me to, it allow the, the documentation itself gives you the chance to find things that are close to the thing you think you may or may not know what it is yeah uh, is that that's some terrible that's good. no that's a good advice to see also <laughs> these properties it's a little advanced but these properties and relations yes. this is the one i use least but when i use it it always helps yes yeah 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 good point <laughs> very good point like if i'm really really stuck Ooh, we have another solution from jose okay oh good jose so is keeping it real we have 10 um, seconds left we got yeah we are oh, my clock might be wrong i'm not sure I don't know what time it is. Oh no, it's over. It's the time we, oh, we oh. and Andy is Andy's back. back. Andy O. Okay. Andy O. Welcome back, Andy O. And we have a solution from Andy O. So we All have right. See? four solutions. All we right. We have Powell's solution for catenate. We have Nick's solution for sorting. We have Jose's solution for let's see. Uh what uh, Jose, if you could submit, what, what is this a, a split, split. Oh, this is split. split. Yeah, split. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Split. And you did see very cool. 
sequence cases is new. I like that. And, and I like the repeated pattern match. That's a, that, so again, you just wouldn't think about that off the top of your head. The, you know, the repeated, uh, 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 character pattern match that he's got. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good. Good thing. A- Andy O has a built in secret function. <laughs> new reverse. Uh, the source code has been hidden. Um, so we're not sure what the solution is, but, <laughs> but he's demonstrated beyond a shadow of a doubt that it definitely works. Yes. And there see the output of three, two, one. And indeed may, might be, might be part of some hidden package. Oh, there it is. So here's, oh, so through. he's, so if you, well, if go look in the, um, uh, if you look in the Slack, oh I no, now Scott is, now. Yep. there okay. we go. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's a new Sometimes reverse. we need, we need a little help here. Uh, <laughs> Let's do this. New reverse, join map indexed. Oh, very good. Very yeah, good. I love it's map indexed. Negative. Map indexed is like a version one thing that when I first saw it in the language, it was like, when would I ever use that? And then mm-hmm. I later on, it's like, why don't I use that all the time? It's, a, it's an amazing one. So let's yeah, yeah. summarize for the poll. We have Powell with Catenate, Nick with the world's greatest sort, Jose with the home brew of Split, and Andy O, back from wherever he was, with a new, improved reverse. <laughs> All right, the poll is live. The, the poll, poll is live. Here we go. Is live. And if we were to close it now, Jose would dominate with one. Oh, no, now it's tied with Jose. <laughs> and Twitch is working for everybody, right? Like it's continuing to show live. Mine seems feel, to have broken. I feel like I'm back in Saratoga watching... Uh, horse the race races at the track. Yeah. Oh, we should have <laughs> Nick, in my hair Nick, around the corner. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Andy O coming around the post. <laughs> uh, this is a tight one. Yeah. I like this. This is good. This shows again, these solutions are, are creative and clever. Very. Which um, one would you vote for? Not to put you. Uh, in yeah. It's a good question. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say, I like this is, I'm kind of, kind of tilting my hand that I love the absurdity of best it. sort. It, it wins the best. It, <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it the best reimplementation of something? No, no, it's the worst. Uh, so, so Nick wins both the best and the worst. Uh, uh, but I like but the I, arrogance, I, the arrogance yeah, of calling yeah, it. <laughs> yes. Because yes. I always like the name quick sort, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> forget yeah. quick sort. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a uh, an iterative algorithm used in psychophysics called pest, and then someone came up with something called the best pest, and it's like, <laughs> oh, please. And then someone came up with quest that's better than yeah. pest, and now there's a thing called quest plus, and it's oh like, God. you know, we're gonna have quest plus plus, and we're gonna have <laughs> quest sharp. What are we gonna have next? <laughs> Enough with your rhyming. <laughs> So it looks like Nick is Nick is winning the poll based on the absurdity index. Come on, Jose. A statistically significant margin. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> certainly not. Uh, but Jose, I really liked Jose's too. Uh, yeah, Jose's, yeah, me too. It's 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 it, it's more in the spirit of what like you know really re-implementing from scratch in a way. I, you know, this could definitely work, right? This yeah. Is very, very interesting. Yep. And you know the one of the fun things back when I used to. Um, uh, when I used to work there, uh, you know, uh, have access to some of this is to look at some of the implementations of some of these things is, is really spectacular because in your brain, that's one of the uh, cool things about the resource function universe is that the source code is there for you to go in and look at it does what it does. So that L system thing that Nick did earlier, if you want to do did that. Earlier? Oh, Nick, the winner. Nick! Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Nick. Oh, I'm feeling a. I'm feeling We're the belt. Have to put best sort up on the function repository. Yeah, someone, some, someone should put that up right away. <laughs> Leave that name. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was question four, and the results are in, right? Yeah. Nick, Nick with first place, and Jose and Powell. Overall, it's Nick by a. How do you say it? Nick by a hair. Nick by a nose. Nick, I, Nick by a nose. It's Nick, Nick by, by a nose. nose. Yeah. Then Jose and Matt really close. Powell, Joe, and Andy O, who is back. Welcome back, Andy. That's I think right. we are ready. For Four question, question five. five. Bring it. Uh, dun, Bring dun. it. Is Bring this the it. last question or no? I can't remember. Uh, we we'll find out. We'll get okay. we'll get from the tower. Create a simple graphical dashboard 
contextual weather report or other display communicating some information about the current weather in a city of your choice. So I have a, uh, uh, I have a feeling that the city w- may impact heavily onto one's ability to uh, score oh. high points. So if you know where your audience is right now. Interesting. Yeah, right. So if you choose a place in Antarctica, there's probably less data for you to display. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, uh, so we're hearing from the tower that yes. there's a total of uh, six. six questions. Yes. With the potential for a tiebreaker if needed. Yes, with a tiebreaker as needed. So this is or the second now. Now last. wait. Now there's fighting in the tower. It appears that the uh, it appears that there are now people throwing various pieces of clipboard and. Uh, it's like an uh, airplane. Uh, oh. uh, I, I think Scott is someone sniffing glue. Someone is. Uh, <laughs> oh no! There's been a concession in the control <laughs> tower. Someone he's down in three counts by submission. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Fisher, the winner in the control tower. So we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go six questions. Hit the wrong week. Stop sniffing glue. That's right. All right, here Johnny, we go. Johnny, Johnny. Do we have, we don't have a dashboard. How would you think about doing a dashboard? You're a visual guy. You're a yeah, guy. You're- let's see. I'm a. I don't know. I would. I. I love. I'm a. Um. Personally, uh, and I. I'm also a weather nerd too. I got a. I could turn my camera around. You could see my weather stations outside. Um, really? Yeah, I'm that guy. Uh, uh, the. Uh, I'm, I'm a minimalist. Uh, you know, a best use of space kind of thing. So mm-hmm. I love clusters of easy to read from far away information. Uh, you know, dials and gauges are fine if you're, if you've only got one or two, but you know, if you can, if there's a way to kind of consolidate, like if it's the temperature, I don't know, I'm thinking of ideas. What about you? Like, like maybe temperature, if it's, if it's hot, that 95 should be bigger, maybe not a different color. I'm colorblind here, ladies and gentlemen, or color anomalous, you know, so go with size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a thought. Now uh, the weather stuff you have outside, is that part of your minimalism? Like, do you have it all hooked up to a binary display? Uh, 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 Safe almost. to live or yeah. stay home? <laughs> yeah, almost. Yeah. There's some, <laughs> by the way, the red light right now, it just goes on right the past couple of days uh, for any of you who are not in the Northeast right now, it's just right now it's just pegged at, you know, go to the bunker. Uh, right now, I don't know uh, where some of you are. It's got to be more comfortable than than how it is here. Right now. So what, we have two functions here, Flip. If you yes. start typing weather, weather data and weather right? forecast data. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And and now uh, he's at, they're asking for a report, which is mm-hmm. interesting. But I still I like the idea of forecast, or at least now casting. You know, uh, near casting as well. You know, mm-hmm. no, what's it going to be like in the next? you know, 20 minutes. Um, Let's do that. Let's yeah, do try forecast that. For here. And by the way, speaking of cool, um, uh, key, speaking of cool, like geographic things here, how about that? Is that not the most useful, crazy function? No, uh, it still, it still bugs me a little. Why, why is here not a function? It's not no. a function. Yeah, no, I don't it know. We got to go to those design meetings is what like we got to do. Yeah, but no, I, I, it, it's just doing some kind of magic, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Maybe I need to pause or something. But today, now, all these things, they're, yeah. they reevaluate. They kind of know. They're right yeah. there. Um, weather forecast data. This is yeah. awesome. It's so there, it uses the time series um, uh, uh, encapsulation, data encapsulation, which I, which I just love all to death. Uh, uh, and so it's coming. Uh, so it looks like it's hourly, right? And uh, be, so one, one of the to, things there's all these cool functions like data that uh, or, or linear model fit um, that have lots of other properties you can get from them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so using that properties thing is a beautiful um, right. That's a, now this is an, asso- an association of time series, mm-hmm. which is, by the way, this, this is good. This is a good implementation, um, note for those of you, when you're developing your own functions to do things, it's often very useful to look at similar fun. So if I needed something rather than creating a time series that had a bunch of, um, uh, paths in it for, 
cloud cover, temperature, and humidity, just one time series. This is a much better way. It, what, you, what you should do is look at the way that the data is returned from a Wolfram function because there will clear there will be ways the, the rest of the system is designed to use the output of the functions that are built into Wolfram, if that makes sense, into the Wolfram language. So so that the looking at this, right, here's the max temperature function, right? Is this right? I haven't been outside in a long time with this Wolfram summer school, but yeah. is it is it really this hot outside? It, 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 it's hotter than that here. So yeah. My what is here's yours? Let's see. I don't know. I, I was just, it's funny. You just mentioned this. Let's see. What do you, you have to run it on Wolfram or you look out the window at your. Yeah. Your no, stuff. if I look out the window right now, it's 96 degrees in I don't think it's been that hot in Rochester since at least it's not snowing. This has been my, <laughs> uh, uh, how are we doing on, do we have any? Nope. No answers yet. Still. See here, yeah. Go ahead and try. So what, um, uh, Philip? You're the the um, uh, as you. So you you came into the language when? It sounds almost like you. Yeah. I feel like version. I remember reading the Mathematica book for version four. Okay. Oh, good. So early on. So, so maybe five, but but the one and I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was because my dad had written a credit derivatives pricer way back then, and Wolfram language the only, Mathematica is the only thing that could, could handle it. Um, but then I, my mind, I remember my mind being first blown with version six with manipulate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yes. Oh, hey, we got an answer. Uh, we have two answers. Oh, one answer oh. repeated. Great. Uh, and sent in again. Thanks. Uh, Matt. Matt. Here we go. Matt's first solution is a, this dashboard. Very nice. There you go. I'll rerun it here and then we can compare. Yeah, right. Mine. All right. Let's, we'll I, oh, this would be an interesting project. If somebody gives you at a <laughs> random time of day the information, can you figure can you out figure where they out are? Where? <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. That would be, be fun. So he's not where I am. Okay. He, it's colder there. And let's see here. I'll paste mine into uh, our chat. Great. Yeah, where so would then, you guess, Matt? Where in the world is Matt? Is Matt. We've got to figure it out. Okay, let me copy yours. So where Matt is... Oh, good. It's only up to 33 here now, uh, right now. Ugh. This one's yours, right? Three, yeah. Two, yeah, 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 yeah. 33. Wow. So you're you're the hottest and you're also the most, most north. Most northern. <laughs> <laughs> you also have wind. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. You have yeah. More, wait, let's put these into, let's, let's do a, a, a data set. My anemometer is spinning. I am looking outside right now. It is. <laughs> is it supposed to be spinning? Is that a good sign? Yeah, it's because it's it's the little thing, the little cups that go around in a circle. Nice. nice. Yeah. So let's put these all together. Data set was another thing that and yeah. associations. Yeah, yeah. In my mind. Uh, yeah. And, and that's something that luckily each. It, it reminds me a lot of the neural network uh, and image processing stuff is each iteration, uh, it, you know, the things are getting a little better. The, the people have figured out uh, more comfortable ways to use this. Oh, you got to association those, I think. You're right. Thank you. Maybe. There's still a two associations or no? No. Yeah. No problem. No By the way, uh, notice uh, uh, consumers that he typed to association and it basically was blue, which means syntactically that does not exist. There we go. Almost. It's not quite right either. Are, are they the same keys? You got them. Yeah. You got them. Uh, deeper. You could, you could oh, just map to do this association. First. Yeah. Right. It's in the wrong place. Okay. Yeah. There we, there we go. There we go. All right. So uh, Matt has the is in a cloudy area with higher humidity than us. It's and low. cold. It's freezing there. <laughs> <laughs> and no wind. Yeah. But hmm. yeah, and high pressure. So that means that the weather has not, uh, right? The, that's usually he's sitting in the middle of a high pressure uh, circle. So. By the way, we'll we'll give you um, another. So it's five twenty four. So yep. let's give you until five twenty six. 
We could do 527 if we need. Let's to. do. Oh, I like that. I like it. <laughs> we have a solution from Andy. Oh, Andy is going to. I want Andy to I, I, <laughs> I feel strongly about this. Man. <laughs> I want Andy to bring this back. Uh, I'll reevaluate it. Maybe something failed with the manipulate. Yeah, it We're does. Sometimes. It so we know where Andy O is. Yes. Or, or at least we know that he chose Boston. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Why did it get aborted? Neat. This plot weather feature in Boston. Oh, so you could choose each one and it'll yeah, yeah, that, update it. Shouldn't that um, work? Why don't we do uh, weather data? Up, oh, we got another one from, and we got a, a, a big, I like this Jose, crazy right? looking thing from Jose. Yeah, buddy. It does look good. Cool. This is cool. Andy, oh, I'm not so. sure how to debug yours. There's something. Yeah, you 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 go ahead and get Jose's, and I'll see if I can figure out what's going on with. Okay, so uh, here's Jose's, but it looks like it's a picture. Oh, okay. So it's a bit. So delete missing. Weather data of Lisbon, Portugal. Oh, okay. I know what he did, and it's very reasonable. Well, uh, Jose, you you could just do weather data of Lisbon. I think it returned. That's the association we got back anyway, right? Yeah, it looks like. But what he did, I, I find myself doing this a lot too. And Flip, if you have a, a tip for how to do it better, I'd appreciate it. Um, if you go to weather data, or this also, this happens a lot in classify and predict, there's uh, a list of possible um, things that you can ask for. Right, like cloud cover fraction, cloud. Right, right? the so pro sub do, properties. Yes. Yeah. So if I want to see them all, sometimes I copy, like I'm exactly yeah. I'm betting Jose did, paste, and then manipulate yeah. it until it becomes a list and use each 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 one. Um, is there a better way? I, I use I have a little function I wrote that tries to figure out what the properties are for things that are. Uh, so some of these things you can actually, you know, ask for the properties and then I do a map onto the properties list and it makes this giant and I turn that into a data set. Um, it, it's kind of like the way that new function information. Have you seen that function and its use? Um, uh, I have information is very cool. Yeah. And it and I don't know if it I, you know, some things it works on. Um, and again, this is something I'm kind of hoping that it gets a little better where it shows you all the properties, you know, when you, when you use, uh, when, so they, they've functions like information. So instead of just using the question mark, there are some of these things that are getting more and more sophisticated in terms of the things that they'll, uh, and it looks you. like I was wrong, Jose, you were right. You do have to do it this way. Weather data does not seem to allow all. Uh, uh, weather forecast data did, but weather data does not. Uh, and it looks like we have our last solution. All right. Here comes our last solution. Right ladies. at the bell. Here we go. So proud. And it is uh, by Joe Crowley. Here we go. Wow. Ah, a dashboard. That is a dashboard and a half. Nice. I feel, I'm feeling the dashboard. All right. What is the nope. difference? Oh, he took the first four and the last. Four. Excellent. Very good. Right. So here are our nominees. Joe Crowley with this dashboard, putting it in order. Nice. Right. We have uh, Jose. Don't hold the. Uh, this looks like it was a problem on our end, not on his. He sent the correct code uh, and it gave all this information. That was Jose for Lisbon. Um, Andy, uh, Andy's also maybe our fault, not clear, but we know what it's doing, right? It's you can yeah, click yeah. if you want to see pressure, temperature, wind speed, and it shows uh, weather data back to 2008. Um, that's Andy O. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt gave us uh, these these particular specific things for the location where he's at. Very good. Right. Do we have? Any, that's it. So those are our choices. We have Matt, Andy O. Jose and Joe, and let's see people if the, in the people in the chat are saying that you've missed two of them. I have missed two of them. Chat is never wrong. No. Uh, oh, I missed a Jesse. No, that's Jose's solution as code. That's okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did miss. Wait, this is. Um, and then there's Scott mine Dev. at the bottom, but that's just me. So, uh, I okay. Oh I'm yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, yeah. here we go. Nick. Powell. Gosh. Powell. Pav yeah, Pavel and Nick. Follows is this one for Warsaw. Very good. Yes. And now we have Nick. Yeah, Nick with his icons. Here we go, everybody. Ready? 
Nick with his Boom. with his icons. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. And there's and there this is all code. And he has no cloud data where he is. That's hilarious. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> no cloud. But look at that. That's yeah. the dashboard. So um what are we have Nick, Powell, Joe, uh Jose, Jose, Andy O, and Matt. Yeah, this is good. We got a oh, we got a uh, good, Joe good. is not going in the poll. I apologize. Oh. Why? I don't know. Okay. Someone tower says. says. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. tower. Over. <laughs> oh, that's right. We the we were limiting it to five questions. Oh, or five because uh, of the poll, right? Okay. It, it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Matt, Andy, it was yeah. the poll live. All right, the poll. Can the poll go. go live? Poll can go live. Andy O off to an early lead. Andy O and Jose <laughs> fighting it out with Mama's little helper coming from behind, helping pushing Nick forward in <laughs> the Pavel. So the, I, I got to say, I, the Nick and Pavel solutions, those later ones, they are they answer the spirit of the question, right? A small definitely. dashboard. Um, yes, definitely. So. And this is the sort of thing you'd want outside your house, right? Very minimal. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. You don't need the labels because you can tell what it is. You understand. Yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yep. That's what a lot of people uh, confuse about dashboards in general. Obviously, this is, you know, in five minutes. But in general, when building dashboards, it's one of the most amazing things that Wolf Language is good at. Um, it used to be, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, maybe even as recently as five years ago. And to, to, today, in some companies, if you can make a dashboard in Excel, Wow. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. your oyster, right? <laughs> yeah. You yeah, do yeah. anything. Yep. Everyone hires you and loves you. Um, but you can make these kinds of dashboards. I bet with just one additional cloud published wrapper on all of these, boom, yep. it's live and it's yep. a website. Done. Yep. And yeah. it'll work for your location and every other location. And yeah. No, I, again, yeah, that's really some of the some of the slickest stuff is when you can deploy stuff like that with literally a wrapper. Uh, it's, just, it's just awesome. So what do we have now? We have uh, how much we time got, left in the It poll? looks like we got about 10 seconds. And hey, we have a it's, tie. <laughs> a four-way four tie way for time. second and third. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> how do you call that? Right, yeah. in horse I don't know. And That's everybody it. else all at once. And <laughs> yes, yes. We're going to go to the tape. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, Some well, changes. Jumps out. Jumps out just at the end. <laughs> out at the bell. Oh. All oh, right. There's a question for you, Flip. Oh, yes. yes. Go ahead. Tell us the winner. Ah, Nick. Nick dominates yet another question. Oh, Good my job, God. Nick. Good job, yeah, Nick. Yeah, yeah, Second yeah. place to Powell and three-way tie for third place with Matt, Andio, and Jose. And there's a question for you, Flip. You've been called out by the Twitcherverse. Uh -oh. Jeremy IWK asks, how do I make a Flip-style dashboard with <laughs> dials and gauges on Mathematica? Well, my style, yeah, that's a good question. But I, I would definitely, there, there's a, um, uh, there are definitely dials and gauges as part of that, you know, whole front end thing uh, in, in manipulate. But you can also use them to just display data as well. The, the flip style thing, by the way, would just be, yeah, there you go, using gauges, horizontal gauges. I love those. Circular gauges don't even need numbers, right? <laughs> right. If you know. Uh, 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 my, I, in, in my youth, I did a little car uh, race driving, and as long as everything's pointing up, everything is great. And the minute that the thing is not pointing up, that's bad. And so, you know, that's all we need. And hey, oh, we got our, uh, we got our uh, uh, leaderboard back. Hit me with the leaderboard, Philip. Here we go. In first place for the question five was Nick with three points, Powell with two, Jose, Matt, and Andy O all get one point. Well dun, done. Dun, 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 dun. This question five had the most total points of any. Question. Yeah, Very I feel good. good. Very well done. Uh, all Nick's right, this is the final 11. question. Here we yes. go. Final question. Question six, correct? Yes, this is the final question. Jesse, uh -huh. roll those dice. Hit that button. Spin that wheel. Launch the klaxon. Ah. Choose a function from the Wolfram function repository and write a new function replicating or inspired by the original. So 
back to what we were saying before the Wolfram function repository. So yeah, we probably should show them, you know, what that is and what that's all about. Click, 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 click. Oh, I can't click. So it. many there. clickings. Yes. There you go. You can just click. Oh, it opened in the wrong window. <laughs> yeah. It opened up my machine. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> it's magic. This is awesome. So you can, um, I'm, I, I'm guessing you probably have some functions in here, Philip. I don't, but I use oh. them a lot. Yeah, I got I got a couple in here for you know things. Can we just, search for you? What is yeah, it? I think you can. I think I try that, or or not. Uh, oh yeah, smooth step, smoother step, right? Seconds today. Smooth and smoother. So you wrote yeah. both. You didn't yeah, write, be, you didn't write best step. No, I didn't. And I was thinking about writing best step uh, after this because. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out smooth steps an old computer graphics function, and then somebody came up with a thing called smoother step, and rather than change smooth step, they just created a thing called called smoother smoother oh, so step. This, I don't get it. So you you wrote both of them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I there is a term of art. Is what you're yes, saying? Yes. 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 These smooth and smoother step are terms of art, and then they basically are and it, and it, their interpolation routines used in computer graphics in um a little bit of trivia in tin toy the uh, or no knickknack the film that should have been nominated and wasn't in my opinion uh oh. it we uh, eben otsby and i sat around and figured out that we called a uh, smooth step a million and a half times per frame of film uh and those wow. 24 frame a second. And it was a, I think it's a three minute or four minute film. So, so you can wow. figure that out. So this is, you know, one of these things where it's like, well, what should we optimize? Well, I got uh, smooth step is like, was implemented in like almost implemented in hardware, I think, uh, you know, wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's amazing. I want to show some Jesse functions, but first, I don't yeah, Jesse's got good ones. Why didn't you file a complaint about the flip function? Yeah, I'm gonna I I'm gonna register you have a some, trademark uh, or something, right? Yeah, I should. Yeah. All right, here and, we go. And, Jesse's and flip view. Yeah, Jesse has great stuff. My stuff. Oh, look at this recent resource functions. Doesn't that? Yeah. Cool? How boy, that might be handy. Everyone. This is awesome. Yeah. Let's see what else looks fun for you. Taliesin <laughs> has some good stuff in there too. Yeah, but uh, but the tower is telling us to check on Jesse's. Okay. Oh, well, guess look. who's in charge of the tower? Yeah, I was going to say who's flying who's flying the, to this. No, I This is I a do. great one. Uh, have you used this? Have you played with the yeah, COVID data? Yeah, yeah, I have actually. I Jesse, I didn't realize that was yours. So, kudos to you. This is one so you can see, right? It's got he's got a byline up there, but when you just use the function, uh you don't get to see who uh implemented the function. So, Oh, you did it with Bob. Okay. All right. Still, uh, it doesn't matter. It's Jesse's function. This is really nice. That's a cool one. Make yeah. a button that evaluates a set. You know, I've been looking for something like this. This is really cool. So how does this work? You put in a button, select and hit OK. Is this doing what I think it does? Wow, this looks so Holy moly. Uh, oh, so you can specify which cells. That's the beautiful thing. Right? Gotcha. Because gotcha, often gotcha. you build a notebook and you want them to work together. This is a very useful function. Yeah, yeah. Boy, there's so much to learn here. This is amazing. So, uh, so someone asked, does Mathematica have a built-in greens function anywhere? And of course, if you type greens function in the resource, that you know there, that might exist, and then you could search it in the documentation as well. Uh, look at this one, persist resource function. So every time you do a resource function, right, you're it persists uh, somewhat anyway, but right. this one now becomes a built-in. Like, look at this. You just give it the name of another resource function. Oh, like that's Rainbow clever. Text, and now yes. it becomes a built-in function. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's amazing. Nice, nice. Jesse, it's what we, well done. Yeah, it's what we've all needed. That's a good one. Because it drives me crazy to have to type the extra two characters to get my... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get whenever I need to use smooth step. And so I actually have smooth step in my own init file. So I don't have to do that. But now with Jesse's persistent resource function, I don't need my uh, stupid thing. That's, that's really great. Looks like we um, have a submission. Ah, Joe. Ah, 
What did he do? He created an anagram. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice. Contains exactly anagram Q. Uh, two lowercase, two lower. Beautiful. Good. This is yeah. Great. So sanitize the data. Uh, 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 do the contains exactly. That's really nice. Very cool. <laughs> Jesse has just carefully. <laughs> Uh, what we get here, uh, 8.6 billion calls to smooth to the smooth step function in knickknack. So uh, wow. using and, and by the way, that's yeah, if, at some point it's worth cutting because he used quantities, uh, mm -hmm. which is a, a very useful thing. Right. Uh, Frames per second. Isn't that awesome? That's, that's yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. And you're. Remind me, your royalty is a dollar per use, right? Yes. Yeah. Actually, the sad thing is, I think the guy who wrote, I'm trying to remember whether, I think it was Ken Perlin who wrote uh, 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 Smooth Step originally. So, yeah, he's the poor guy who's not getting paid anymore. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, we have a second solution. Here we go. It's by Powell. Is it pronounced Powell or Pavel? Pavel? It's, I don't know. The, my mom's Polish and she would tell me Pavel. So. Arc sign degree. Nice. Look at this excellent name. <laughs> and times better than arc sign degree. Well, let's See, try it. So I got to tell you, people, uh, you guys are doing a good job of living up to the spirit of <laughs> uh, of getting good votes. So this is, you're getting, uh, so here's arc sign degree, right? Try it. Okay. All right. Uh, and the same answer, 90. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That is 10 times better. Gonna, it is. Maybe as even far, 11. Maybe it, 11. It, it could be. It, it and, could uh, be. Good. Now, and by the, the way, you can show them that they can download the source code for as a idea. notebook, right? So uh, to see if someone just, you know, plagiarized. Not that I'm accusing anyone of doing anything uh, improper. Well, let's actually, that would be useful. We have another solution, but just while we're yeah. looking at ArcSign, yep. uh, we saw the, the one liner solution for here. That was great. Yep. But, uh, come drag, drag people. Come on, come on, drag. Move. Oh, we'll go old school. Here we go. There it is. Really doesn't want to drag. Get over here. Just one of those. <laughs> it's stuck between universes. Oh, wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have two new. <laughs> we have two more solutions. So right. we'll call. We'll call off the solutions at five forty. Three, 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 five forty-four. We'll call off the solutions. I just wanted to point that out. It is the same. It's the one eighty over pi. But um, why you might want to use a function, a resource function, rather than doing it yourself? It has they. It has attributes like listable. It says it's a numeric function. It'll catch certain kinds of errors. Right. There's just a lot that goes into making it production quality. Um, it's still maybe not at the level of, you know, unbreakableness as a built-in Wolfram language function, but right. it just has a little bit more in it. So if you have a choice, but like one I, I use all the time is ensure directory, right? Oh yeah. Write, that's yeah. 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 You'd write that yourself all the time, right? <laughs> yeah. But, um, it's better to just use the ones that are built. Okay. Next solution. Uh, so we saw, oh, add indices. Did we look at that one? Oh, Jose sent in the, the, the oh, uh, okay, so, so we have Joe's, indices. Pavel's, and we have Jose's. Yeah, we look at this one. Add indices. No, we didn't. Let's look. This is second one by Jose, or no? No, we just haven't. No, 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 no. This is Jose's. Uh, add indices. Let's see. He did like a list, and he would add the indices to the beginning of the list. That's that's nice. like a map index, right? But yep, maybe this is more useful to use sometimes. Fantastic. And the next one is by, I think Matt. Is that right? That's what I'm seeing in my seeing Nick. Oh, the ver Matt. Yes. Matt yes, and Nick. And I think that's five. Is that correct or no? Oh, I don't have one from Nick, but that's probably it's just the last one. Oh, OK. Yeah, 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 yeah. New right. verb. I like uh, so new verb. It's a verb. Part of speech. If it's a member, if it's verb. Yes. Good. It's a yeah, verb yeah, 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 yeah. Verb good. Cube. By the way, very smart, Matt, not capitalizing the end, because otherwise you might have thought it, the, it was a new verb cue. This is one of these right. verbs that was just recently added to the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, and, and you have, and you avoid collision with the built-in namespace. But that's yes. a you know depends on who you're talking to. Do you, do you do that all the time religiously, or do you ever name? Your no, churches? I I, yeah. I actually name them. Um, I tend to name things with uh, capitals because yeah. I'm, you know, 
or I put, or I use like a code in front. I, I tend to use packages a lot. I, I write my own namespaces. So just to make that stuff. This is good. So this is pretty grid. This is what it does to this input. This is by Nick. I think this is our last submission. Yes. Here's his function. It's called prettier grid. Um, maybe I need to evaluate it. I'm thinking about yeah. cutting off. Because that could be terribly ugly grid. What happened here? Oh, he's so look, he's putting, he's got a Bezier, he's got a Bezier curve where he is putting the points for the, see where it, it, it <laughs> he's trying to put the control points in strange Bezier. This is like great. Crazy. This is how yeah, to yeah, gaslight yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're it's just perfect. It's a great grid. What's your problem? Yeah, yeah. Does now it look you're weird just, to you. <laughs> it doesn't look weird to me. <laughs> that's great. That was Nick's. And I think that's the last one. Let's just count. So we have Nick with prettier grid. Yeah. We have Matt with a new verb queue. We have Jose with add indices. Powell with arc sign degree. And Joe with anagram queue. And I think, yes, there. the poll is live. The poll is live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> No, I'll tell you what I do with uh, capitalized because uh, our tower yeah, yeah. is telling us it's evil. I, uh, <laughs> if I'm writing a, a short function or uh -huh. one that's very specific to my domain, I'll lowercase it. But if I'm writing one, and I've done this for years, even before there was a function repository, if I thought this function maybe someone on earth might sometime use again, then I tend to capitalize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, And thus why I tend to use contexts and, you know, to for the same reason. Uh, but yes, uh, there is a definitely style. Uh, there are strong feelings about style. That, yeah. Let's just put it that way. But yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I think that's right. So let's see here. So uh, Pavel doing uh, doing the uh, 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 about to crush crushing Nick Joe making us a, a run. Jose, oh, you got to at least vote for yourself, Jose. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop on Twitch and just be like, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> I liked yours, Jose. That was good. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay, uh, good. Oh, there he's got a vote. There we go. There we so go. Oh, neck man, neck. man. What happens if it's a five way tie for first? Yeah, that I don't it, I I don't think it can be, but you know, let's go. I'm I'm good with whatever happens, right? Because Nick uh I, I like that people are trying to game it now, right? If you vote Nick down it puts Jose, because uh, Jose <laughs> could get three, and then be ten to eleven, right? We uh, should do like we should do like Jeopardy, right? Where Nick would gamble up to eleven points. Yeah, yeah oh, I like it. <laughs> I very much like that. Ah, it's a tie. Oh, Joe. it's a tie. Joe and Paul. Wow, <laughs> for first, and Nick for third. Wow. 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 So I think wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one will be. Three plus three plus two. Oh, it's a tie. So we have two questions that are tied for most total points. Yes. Very good. And I believe uh, unless there's a tie, this will uh, wrap it up. Right? Yes. Yes, so I believe. As but this is this exciting. comes out, the thrilling conclusion. And yes. how, so how do we crown the victor? Nick, are you? He's not here. Is he with you? Yeah. No, I don't see him. Oh. Uh, I understand I there's a. Uh, so I, I was. Stephen back. Yeah, we need and and we need to we need to talk to uh, uh, Danielle and Aaron. We need a large novelty check. I think would be the next. Uh, <laughs> that would be great because the virtual. wrestling. The, yes, it's, it's in the virtual mail. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Because the the wrestling belt for those of you, especially on Twitch, uh, who are unfamiliar, at the developer conference, uh, uh, Danielle and Aaron found uh, they the, there is a beautiful wrestling belt. Uh, uh, that is given to the winner there. Here we go. Uh, Flip, guide us in. Tell us what happened with the It winners. looks we'll like, it. ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's Nick with 13 points. Well done, Nick. Uh, job, Pavel man. and Jose tied at eight for uh, second. Matt with seven in fourth place. Joe with five. And Andy O bringing it up with two so this congratulations everybody. yes everybody everybody very good, well job, done. Very good job very good job this and is amazing really tie. this is great yeah very, very cool yes i totally agree um let's go let's go to the tower let's see uh we hear the tower is giving uh no 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 tie you what you said was right 
Yeah, first, second, and second. Yes, right, right. Good, good, good. So, um, and then, uh, uh, so the, and, and I believe, uh, uh, I believe, Danny, uh, there is a, uh, a handsome, I saw earlier flying through the email, uh, handsome uh, certificates to be delivered uh, uh, to the winner. I don't know. Uh, uh, is, uh, are there are our three winners? Um, are they here on the Zoom? We should. You should yeah, yeah, yeah. Show yeah. Your camera. Uh, Introduce yeah, yeah, yourselves. Yeah. Tell us a bit about what you thought. Where Where are you guys? How do you? Yeah, there's Zoom? Nick. Somebody. Nick. All right. Tell yeah, us. There Nick. He is. Congratulations, Nick. Great job. Yay! Yay! Tell us what was your experience like. Give us some feedback. How was it? That was fun. <laughs> I can't even describe it. You're already great commentators. I already was, tried it. Enjoyed it. Was this your, is this your first uh, summer school? Yeah, that, that was my first. That is still my first. <laughs> it's still, oh, uh, yeah, good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it, great. And, uh, uh, well, congratulations. Yeah, you should definitely consider coming to the uh, developer conference and competing for uh, competing for the big money. Uh, uh, at the developer conference. Uh, this Here year. we have great news too. We just heard Flip has donated up to 1 billion iterations of Smoother <laughs> Step for your use free yeah, anytime free. you like. Yeah, Royal, no royalties <laughs> for you. That <laughs> <Right>. is... <laughs> Matt, let's meet Matt. Everybody yeah. who was a, comp uh, a par participant, please yeah, yeah, your yeah. videos. Let's, let's hear about you guys. Well, Matt, tell bravo, us. bravo to Nick. Nick did a great job. I'm I'm particularly a fan of the comic sans and the off-centered numbers in the grid. I think that that was inspired. The fact that you did that in real time too is is yeah. very impressive. So yeah. that's well, great. <laughs> that's great. I was trying to do it some kind of XKCD style, but yeah, right. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> uh, Phil, well. Phil, if you stop screen sharing then everybody oh, can sorry, see sorry. people's videos you, pop Danielle. up Perfect. so we can see their yeah faces. yeah good point yeah so go Thank ahead you. nick nick say hi and so that it uh hi yeah there we go hi, hi. now people on the twitch can see nick and his awesome background yeah yeah, yeah. is that virtual or, or real <laughs> i hope <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wish it was real <laughs> yeah. great jose welcome and congratulations hi Tell us well, about yourself. How was your? This was the first time I participated in some kind of coding competition. So I was a little bit used to this kind of little programming uh, code because I was mm, really mm, into the Wolfram challenges for the school. But I wasn't sure if I was doing right participating, but it's been so fun. Awesome. And thank you for bringing that up. Flip, how could we have forgotten to mention Wolfram Challenges? That's a, Yeah, that's right. No, that's go. A site. That's a great yeah, yeah. site. I love it. It's uh, There's so many great questions. Just go to the start here, start there. That's I, a great I saw that you are in many, many of the leaderboards. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I do enjoy it. <laughs> it becomes addictive, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I've, I've thought about, oh, man, yeah. let's try to take him down. <laughs> do it. Take me down. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, That's awesome. Thank you, Jose. That's wonderful. Joe, tell us about Joe. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this was a really awesome coding competition. I love the questions that were chosen, and everybody had such awesome answers. It was really interesting to see what you guys did. Um, so, yeah, this, is a, this was really fun. I think this is probably my third coding competition, although this was the first one where it was like really fast paced and super head to head. We actually had like a leaderboard on this one. Uh, so that, that's that's really interesting. And uh, yeah. I thought it made it all that much more fun. So thanks Very guys. Cool. Very Great. cool, thanks. And that's Great. a big shout out actually specifically to Jesse. Yes, uh, top mainly. architect Jesse, who will yeah. be forced to reveal himself at some point. Oh, but... please, yeah, Jesse. Um, because that's he good. not only did he do the questions, but he built all the stuff that helped make the leaderboard yeah. and everything else. They should, yeah, yeah. They should call this the, the Jesse Friedman, you know, Wolf from Live coding challenge. challenge. Yes. Well, uh, in addition, he figured out how to get all of these questions into Mathematica notebooks for us instantaneously, which is some wizardry that I had never seen before. <laughs> uh, and if you've if you've been on Slack in summer school, you can notice he's like a quantum particle. He's in like three, 10, 20 different threads at once simultaneously, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you context switch that fast, let alone answer it? In incredible. Um, uh, there's Pavel. Uh, has, I love the the frosty uh, look you've got going there. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> 
pretty late in night in in my <laughs> in my time. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the case. But but still, uh, I had some 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 fun with you. It, it was pretty pretty nice. First time for me as well. Great, Great job. job. Congratulations. That was good. good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And oh, then and Andy O. Andy O. There he is. You went missing myth. for a minute. What happened there? Uh, you're muted. You're muted. Yeah. Someone unmute Andy. Hello. hello. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Also a first coding competition. So learned a lot from everyone. Uh, congrats to Nick and everyone. So yeah. Uh, apply to Wolfram Summer School. Nice. Seriously. Awesome. Seriously. Yeah. This Pretty program neat. is awesome. People should apply to it. Yeah. It's, you know, the, the thing I miss, though, is and uh, the food uh, at my house is better than the dorm food, usually at uh, where the, some of the places we have to do dorm this. food is Dorm food is peak cuisine. We all know yeah. this. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I'm with it. Jesse, will you please uh, unvisually mute sure. yourself or, so that we can all see you? Yeah, there he there is. is. There isn't usually a... Um, uh, <laughs> A camera in the control room, so I wasn't expecting this. Uh, <laughs> control tower. Um, uh, there, yeah, this was fun. I'm glad all of you had fun. And um, uh, appropriate thanks should go to uh, some of the people who uh, who put together the, the the tech system that that drives this competition. Uh, those on the live stream didn't get to see it, but there's a there's a there's a, like an interface that the uh, competitors use to submit their answers. Uh, and that was originally done by J W and Brian V in the documentation systems group at Wolfram. I've just made some tweaks and changes as needed over the past two years that we've uh, done this competition. So nice work, yeah, thanks guys. to them. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Great work. And great work, everybody else behind the scenes. We really appreciate it. All of the, you, It's hard to imagine seeing it, but there's a lot of work that goes into the Twitch and the Zooms and the coordinating everything. Uh, yep. So Scott and uh, Avery. And, Avery, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So thank you all. <clears throat> Danielle, Brandon, Danielle, can you uh, come on and tell us what we do now? What do we do with our lives? Um, take a bow. Seriously, both of you, it was fantastic and amazing. And thank you for everything that all of you have done for it. Um, I, I've been sitting here cracking up for the last hour and a half. So <laughs> I can't say more than thank you. And we can let the students get back to building their um, projects because this is a fun break, but they still have lots of work to do. <laughs> Always with the more work. The whip, the the whip. Here we go. <laughs> Great. Well, great. I had a great time. Philip, it, it, it was, this was uh, 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 a pure pleasure to work with you. Uh, Likewise, and, and an honor. Thank you, Philip. Yes, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get to do this again soon. Uh, uh, maybe. I, I just, I hope we get to do it in person uh, uh, together soon. That would be, that would be perfect. So. That would be great. Thanks to everybody. Have a great night. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Take care. Time, time for now. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you around. Thank you.